Is we recording? Is we recording? Well, looks like we is. What's up, biatch? What's going on? Um, just came on here real quick to say hey. Hope your Friday is going fabulous. Hope it, hope your day went well. I just got on here because I wanted to vent. Okay, can can you allow me to vent for just a moment, please? Can I have a moment of your motherfucking time to vent? Because these fucking income tax check refund ballers are really getting on my fucking nerves. Okay? Bitch, if you owe somebody some motherfucking money, pay them their fucking money, bitch. Okay? If I owe you $5, the next time I see you, you're going to get your $5. If you owe me money, and when you see me, there's no mention of the fact that you owe me fucking money, <sighs> and I know damn well you just got paid, and you actually bragging about, I'm not talking about me, this is just some shit I know that's going on right now. And it irks the fuck out of me because people get real brand new around this time of year when they get their fucking income tax check. You broke all fucking year long. And then when you get the money in your motherfucking bank account, you get brand fucking new. You don't know nobody. You don't call nobody. You walking around with new shit on that you don't buy or wear all fucking year long. You riding around in a new car that won't last you but 30, 40 fucking days. Because how many of y'all I know that I'm not the only one that notice around income tax time. You see a lot of 30-day tags. You see a lot of them same fucking cars a month later broke down on the side of the motherfucking road. You know what? I always call them income tax cars because that's exactly what they are. These dealerships, if you ride around and look at these dealerships now, if you notice they get in their parking lots and they little dealership lots fat and juicy and plump full of cars ready for these niggas out here to get their income tax checks and go out and buy a new car. I'm up here venting y'all because it's just fucking ridiculous. I just don't like how people get brand new when they get some money in their fucking pocket. You understand what I'm saying? Like, if, if, if you're like me, okay, if you're used to having money, not a lot of money, but if you're used to having money, then income tax time a year shouldn't mean shit. A lot of us got to pay the fucking government. A lot of us ain't lucky enough to get fucking refunds back from the government. You see what I'm saying? So... If you owe somebody some money, pay them back. I shouldn't have to ask you for my money. And I see you. And you see me. And you're spending money. Knowing you owe me money. Really? Where they do that at? Can you please motherfucking let me know when are you going to pay me my shit back? Like that just that that has always been a pet peeve of mine this time of year how people do that. And it just irks the fuck out of me. It really does. It really, 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 really does. You talk about a pet peeve, I can do a whole fucking video on that shit. Real talk. I really can. A whole fucking video on that. Because I know you got somebody. I I know. Trust me, I'm not alone in this shit. I know you got a motherfucker that's going to ask to bar... And it ain't got nothing to do with income tax time. Period. Point blank. If if somebody asks you to borrow some motherfucking money, and you, out the kindness of your heart, agree, and they tell you they're going to pay you back on Monday. Monday rolls around, they don't call you. It come Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the next Monday, the next Monday, the next Monday. And you've seen this person during that whole fucking time and they don't even open their mouth to, to, to say, here's your money or here. No, bitch, I didn't give you the money. I loaned you the fucking money. So I say all that to say, if you income tax fucking ballers this time of year, you want to. 
you know, act bigger than you are because you got a couple thousand dollars in your pocket this year. Fine. Go ahead, boo. Do you. You work hard for that money all year long. Do you. But if you owe somebody some fucking money, pay the motherfuckers back. Okay? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Get it together. Okay? What's up, y'all? How you doing? I hope you have a great weekend. It's going to be nice here. Um, It's going to be... It's going to be 80 degrees on Sunday and 70 tomorrow here. So that's North Carolina for you to go up and fucking down. So with that being said, have a fabulous weekend. Listen, I just want to give a shout out to genuinely from the bottom of my heart. Those people who have been ride or die, and this is genuinely from my heart. Those of you that have been ride or die with me through ups and downs and me going away from YouTube for months and months and months and on end. But as soon as I pop up a video, as soon as I post a video, you always comment to let me know you're still there. And that means a lot to me. So for those that commented on the last video, a lot of you guys... Uh, it was mainly the motivation video that I did a lot of you guys have been with me for a long time and I appreciate that and I appreciate you for that because granted you know this little YouTube thing is is nothing that I do for numbers or ratings or subscribers and I keep telling you that because if, if if I want to do it <laughs> bitch. but it's entertainment it's fun it's it's a it's an outlet for me to meet some beautiful fabulous people like yourselves and um my voice cracked because i'm getting a little emotional okay but um <laughs> real talk thank you guys um a lot of you guys again that posted on that video i'm talking directly to you i thank you i love you get it together and i appreciate you guys commenting on that video and that's for everybody that commented on that video you guys are my ride or die dudes and chicks and I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart I really do because there's so many other people you could be watching on YouTube that are more successful that have well way more shit to talk about than I do but you still manage to somehow let me know that you're still there and I really appreciate that I really do and I think that's what motivated me to do YouTube or and to keep doing YouTube. So I guess basically you guys have helped me answer my question on that motivation video. You motivate me. You do. You you motivate me to even though I've been going through some things, um you guys motivate me to get on here at times and just talk and just be myself. And I thank you guys for allowing me to be me. So you guys are my motivation. So yeah, you are. But anyway, uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Oh, first, I just want to say shout out to Missy Elliott. Missy, 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 Missy Elliott. I'm loving the new song. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. If you haven't seen the video, make sure you check out Missy Elliott. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. It's been a long fucking day. Make sure you check out Missy Elliott's new... Um, what is this on oh, my computer? Make sure you check out Missy Elliott's new video. It's hot. It's fire. Um... And, and shout out again to Missy Elliott um, for following me on Twitter. Um, I was actually surprised when she uh, followed me. It um, I don't have a whole, 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 whole bunch of followers on Twitter. Although I am starting to get more followers because I um, am active a lot more on Twitter. But you guys can follow me on Twitter at JerseyRaven15. Or you can follow me on Instagram, JerseyRaven15. So you guys can get at me that way. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I do post a lot of pictures there. Um, JerseyRaven15 is at on Twitter. 
And um, I'm I'm real political on Twitter. I go I goes in on Twitter. Okay. So with that being said, I'm gonna get up off of here. You guys have a fabulous weekend, and stay motivated, stay you, and be blessed. Get it together. Mm hmm. Mm hmm.